what is up guys my name is fat ninja turtle and today i'm going to be going uh, over a really quick effect in my uh what's it called revros.fnt submission so here it is in a second it is just this little grid swipe you guys just saw it there i'm just gonna go back and show you uh right there that little grid swipe across the screen so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that really quickly so what you need is a clip obviously and i'm just gonna drag my clip into a new composition okay so you can do it whenever you want. I'm just gonna do it before I shoot. So what you're gonna do is make a new solid and just call this grid. Okay, then you're gonna type in grid, obviously. I'm just gonna apply it to that layer. Uh, then you can trim up your layer, okay. Then what you're gonna do is make it width, width and height sliders. You can do that if you want. Actually, I'm just gonna keep it at corner point, it doesn't matter. Uh, wait, no, width and height sliders, that's what I use. And then just drag it over a bit and drag this one over a bit so you know it looks like uh, enough grid so that you can see on the screen okay and then just close up grid and then what you're gonna do is type in cc light sweep and just drag that on then instead of light reception uh, reception make it add to cut out okay now as you can tell we have this little light thing which is like a little feather of a grid and make the angle to your preference what i used is positive 45 so it goes across the screen like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe it at the center and go over 30 frames. So control, shift, right arrow key, and you can type it three times. One, two, three. And then make my center go across the screen. And then that's basically it. And now you can add a lot of effects to it, which I did. So, one second, not now, not now. And I'm gonna make the width 100, the sweep intensity 50, the edge thickness 100 and yeah the edge intensity 100 some sorry and the edge thickness uh, just leave that and then make it your color that you want so I'm gonna use a green and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag on a glow okay and I'm gonna hit you for my keyframes and I'm just gonna um, make this smaller whatever okay now I'm gonna minimize the CC light sweep and I'm gonna glow I'm gonna hit original colors make it a B and then I'm going to choose, I'm going to go back to my grid, uh, no, I'm going to go back to my sweet CC light sweep, and I'm going to make color A the light color, and then for my color B, I'm just going to, I drop this, and I'm going to make it a yellow, so just drag it down, there we go, then I'm going to go to glow threshold, I'm going to start at zero, and then go to the end of the effect, whoopsies, it did something wrong, okay, end of the effect, and make the threshold 100, so if we look in the middle, the like color's changing slightly, ever so slightly. And I'm actually going to drag, uh, drag the intensity up to 2 and the radius up to 20. There we go. That's nicer. So now it kind of creates a star glow effect, but it's just the glow. So it makes it nice and awesome. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag on CC Vector Blur. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, I'm going to go to the start. I'm going to make this perpendicular. Uh, property I'm gonna make it alpha and I'm gonna make the amount 15 and I'm gonna keyframe the angle offset and go to the end and make it uh, 0.5 of a rotation so now the perpendicular just kind of like wiggles around and it looks kind of cool then last effect we could drag on for this effect is a fast blur so drag the fast blur fast blur on repeat uh, click the repeat edge pixels and make the blurriness to 2 so there we go that's how i did this effect you can also mess around with the settings if you want so you can make it just horizontal or just vertical but i'm just going to keep it like that and uh yeah so that's how you do it it's pretty cool it's kind of like a scanning effect if you like make it look nice and yeah you can add whatever you want onto it you can change the colors obviously so that's how you guys do the effect and i posted the editing contest uh, on saturday so go ahead and check it out and uh yeah thank you guys for watching have a nice day and i'll talk to you guys soon with another after effects tutorial see you guys bye